Hey everybody, I've been working on this uh, Hardy Boys book and I really haven't been filming anything, I don't think. Um, but I'm getting ready to put um, journaling cards and tags in it, so I thought I'd go ahead and turn it on. Um, I got all the pockets in and then I found another stash of pockets, so I added some more. So it's really full <laughs> of pockets and things, So, but it's still not bad. I mean, you know, if you squeeze it, it's like that, so... Anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be a little chubby one, but uh, I just thought I'd turn the camera on. I've got some things stockpiled here for uh, putting in the pockets. It's not going to be near enough, but we'll see how far we get. So anyway, just thought I'd turn the camera on. And this one, I kind of did a theme of keys. It's not real, um, no, I mean, there's not a lot yet, but I do have some charms I'm going to add and, and things like that. So, um keys was the theme so you'll see stenciling uh throughout here um yeah uh, we'll get to the, i'll show you when we we'll get there now this pocket i love this pocket this is crazy that i love this pocket it is a stamp off paper where i was just you know cleaning off my stamps and um i just made a little envelope out of it and stitched it and it's just the cutest little thing so it needs something in there so i think this little bingo card i'm calling it bingo I don't know what it is. Ortho. It's probably a game. I think it would fit pretty good in there. Let me just ink it up a little bit. This was more than likely in a Tim Holtz kit of ephemera stuff. So if I don't remember where it's at, I just give Tim Holtz a credit for it. I'm making sure I'm on camera. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the envelope. That's my favorite envelope of the whole journal. <laughs> I really think it is. Okay, and this is a little side thing. Most of the illustrations I had to do with side pockets because these pages are so narrow. So this needs like an index card size, or I can do this, maybe. This is the, like, not, I don't know what you call this. It's not really the title page, but it's got the title on it. So let's fold this. I think half would be, yeah, half might work. Fold it in half, but anyway, it's blank mainly. So it's definitely, um, you know, it's the title of the book. So we'll just include it as a journaling sheet in this side pocket. Okay. And then let's see, here's a belly band. Oh boy, do I have anything for that? Maybe this, yeah. This was the back of the guest checks. I have a whole stack of guest checks, you rip it off. So this is the back and I just use collage and then that is from a sewing pattern. Here it is. I bought it specifically for the Hardy Boys books because I thought it just looked like old timey, you know, uh, boys <clears throat> as far as their dress and stuff. Um, and then there's some on the. Oh, look, there's even more on the um, instruction sheet. Oh, yay. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to need those. Anyway, um, uh, I, I don't know what I was going to say, but um, I just use them for collage. So here's one of them, and I think he'll fit on this belly band. You won't be able to see him, though. But that's okay because he's gonna be a little surprise under there. This is a messy journaling spot. There's another one. I stamped a key. And I don't know if I should. Yeah, see how I did stenciling of the keys on the white pages. Here's an airmail pocket that I really don't think I have much to go in these things at all. Here's a little booklet made out of an atlas page. And then just another piece of cardstock in here. I sewed it for a booklet. I added these. There's three guys there. Could be the Hardy Boys because the dark haired one and light haired one. I think I might have shown this before. Let's put this in here. Here's another little booklet like that. Oh, here's a stamp. Ah, oh, yay. There's a stamp. Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, you know what we can go in there? Let's put the booklet here and let's put a clue card in here, a dagger. Okay, we'll do that. I spy card. I found another one and this is just a thing. It says Sage Creek Refining Gasoline Coupon, 25 cents. I figure that's, you know, that's definitely not <laughs> something from these, this day and time. So it would work. And you know, here's an old timey car. It can go with the gasoline coupon. I think it'll fit, yeah. I'm gonna, here's the center of the signatures. I'm gonna tie those uh, keys on there. I just, you know, gotta find them again. Here's a little booklet made out of scrapbook paper folded in half, edge punched. Why don't we put it in this little tuck? 
and I think I, yes, I just made it a single tuck. Here's another side pocket. It's really narrow. It might hold something like this, but there's no place to journal on the back, so let's make that real quick. I just got a stash of old paper over here that's, you know, um, already grunged up. Let's just cut a piece about the right size. And glue it on. Oh, I know I'm off camera. I'm sorry. I was just taking this piece of paper and just tearing it to fit. That gives us a little bit of journaling space on the back of that. Just kind of edge it a little bit. It doesn't need much because this is old paper and it's pretty brittle. So, oops, something fell. Not sure what it was. And I hope I'm in camera. I'm just surrounded by stuff like normal. Like normal. old-fashioned camera can go in there and this is one of those both of these can be pictures I like these because they're white and black drawings so you can definitely color those in with your um, color pencils if you wanted to Charlie spot stenciling this little flashlight I put it on a couple of layers of book page just to make it thicker and I made a little belly band out of it but I don't think I have anything small enough yet well, that might work. I don't think it's good. Oh, yes, it does have blank paper on the back. So, okay. We're doing better than I thought we would. Here's a pocket. Let's see. I have a um, index card that I just put scraps on it and then I found a, what do you call those things? Fortune cookie. It says you are always welcome in any gathering. Let's maybe put this in there. No, I don't know. It's too white, really. Never mind. <laughs> Let's put this money one. Remember I made these when the uh, first name roulette challenge? So um, let's put that in there. These can all be switched around, obviously. Here's another side pocket. Now, I have a guest check. I think it's going to be too big. Yep. Here's Hardy Boys in German. It's a little too. Um, what are those ones? Too small. Yep. Postcard. Maybe if I trim it a little bit. This came with a kit from Hobby Lobby's on travel. It's like a scrapbooking kit, travel one. I don't know if I don't get it trimmed enough to fit in there or not. Okay, we'll just keep going on it. It'll be half the size when we're done. Okay, thank you for fitting. All right, this is a tuck. It could hold this Sherlock Holmes um, thing I made. I think I'm, oh, I better check the camera. I'm gonna be way off. Uh, am I? Oh, not too bad. I'm right up against the tripod leg, so you might be seeing that. Okay, let's see. Guess check if it's in here. Tight. Make that. Why don't we put this in here? Did I finish inking it? No. Like I said, these all could be moved around. I may move some around, switch things out. Just trying to get an idea of where I'm at on what I need. And on this, um, I like I said, I put scraps on there and then that um, fortune cookie uh, saying. I uh, mod podged over so it would uh, glue it all down together. There we go. And on this side we've got two pockets. I think I glued the whole thing down. So 
about this German one would fit. I know you can't see what I'm digging through over here. The train one might fit. Oh boy. And you know one of these postal labels might fit too. I'll put it there. And then this has already got writing space on the back. It just needs to be inked a little. It's trains. A key. Airmail flip out so you can write on it. I have a banner here, and my banners all have white paper on the back, so it's the journaling card. So, and it, anything can be tucked up underneath there, too. I'll just save that for whoever gets this to put something that way. Charlie space. Okay, another belly band. Maybe we're a little German guy. We can go there. Oops, he's too big. Um, that will work. It's a little booklet, but it's not done. You know what? Why don't I over here? Let's see. There's my other weighted thing. Uh, I got a bunch of scraps of the scrapbook paper. Why don't I make another one of those? Oof. Little folded in half. Grab my corner punches. Right back. You might hear an avalanche. <laughs> Be kind of buried. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Fisker's one, I have no idea what it's called. This is my second time to have it. I um, don't remember what I did. Something <laughs> destroyed the first one. So there's just a little journaling card. Slip it in that belly band. Okay, gives a little color to that page. All right, this is the footprints uh, paper. I think I've shown it before. I um, just tore it and then put a little cluster on there, so it needs something in the pocket. I have that way colors. I'm not right though. How about this guest check with the typewritten paper, map paper. And Hardy Boys number 73 on there. Yo, yeah, that works good. Okay. Okay, here's a little pocket. Definitely looks old and grungy, so it needs something. It's actually a double pocket. And this is really old paper, and I um, mod podged it to make it sturdier on the bottom. I don't think I did on the top, but it's glued down completely. Here's about Underwood, Underwood typewriters. And that fits there. And here's a picture. I don't know. I want something smaller though. You know, I'm about to the end of the small stuff. So let me just ink this up. And put it in there. I need something small, but I think I'm gonna go back and um small enough. Um, make some stuff with those the other pictures I found on those patterns. So let's just keep going and see if we can find a place for the German guy. Let's see, this whole thing is a pocket. And that would be too big to come out, right? Yeah. So just keep going. That's another big pocket. Another big pocket. That one's kind of hard to get into because I could not, I didn't have enough space to, well, I'd already sewn it before I, you know, took a little bite out of it. So I'm just worried that I'm getting no variety on my journaling cards and tags. So um, here's a tuck. Oh, it fit. No. Okay, never mind. 
here is this that might fit this is another uh, index card that I just put scraps of washi tape on it because it was I used the this washi to hinge the book pages that I included in here and I just stuck my little ends of washi on here and then I went back and mud podged over it just so that it would stay down so just gives it a different feel too so okay Let me put that in there Okay, and this one I have, it was an index divider, and this is a picture of a thumbprint thing that they had back in the 70s. This is how they, you know, used thumbprint, and it was crime detection scientific was the entry in the old encyclopedia, and then I put a bigger thumbprint there. So that can be like a writing board for this journal, so it fits in this back pocket just perfect. So anyway, okay. I've got a few things here, but I need to make some more stuff. I need to get a backing on that. This is an Agatha Christie thing. I thought, you know, mysteries, I might use it. So, um, oh, don't forget my little stamp. Okay, I'm going to um, work on some little tags or something. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and um, I will show you what I do. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back, and I've gathered a few things here to maybe make some more tags, but you know, I thought before I do that, and I kind of cleared stuff away a little bit, I thought I'm going to get my ephemera basket or tag basket, journaling card basket, and go through it and see if I can find anything I can use or adapt. So I'm just going to put my little bits and pieces over here to the side under that book. That's the book pages from the actual book. And I'm bringing in this. I think you can see that. Not sure how clear it is, what it is. It's a bunch of pre-made stuff. And I think I said in one of my other videos that it's time to start using this these things. So, um, yeah, this is chalkboard tags. So I really need to turn it this way. Oops, maybe you can see that. Okay, yeah. Let's go through here and see if we can find anything that will work. I did find um, some more of those clue cards. I need to use those up so um yeah these are two old timey it's wallpaper that's pretty cool well kind of might work so, well no i'm gonna say no all right this is a little tablet i didn't think about a tablet i don't have one yet so let me set that aside this is just something waiting to happen a lot of these things are like little journal cards that are waiting for a focal point and i can use maybe a couple of these because i've got those you know the little guys from the patterns i showed you those i think i'm going to piece these videos together so maybe it'll be in the beginning of the video here's another one i really don't have any room for more of the pocket type things it's got to be something that goes in a pocket so and i need some smaller things i got stuff everywhere there's little things down here okay that's cute but not really this style that can be made into a little journaling thing if I need it. There's a little tag, just blank. Size isn't bad. Post-it note. That's not bad. Just put something on it. It's fallish. Nope. Okay. Here's a tag that's not bad at all. It's just got different scraps on it. Needs a focal point. I might can find one. A lot of recipe cards in here. Um, Maybe one of these days. <laughs> I'll do it. I've got one waiting for me to do. Here's some wallpaper coming up. I see it. That wouldn't be too bad right there. So that's those. Now I've already used one. This is a real uh, library. Um, they do slip thingy. And um, I made it and cut it into a tag shape. But I've already used one. So I'm going to skip it for this journal. I'm not even going to get through all these. <laughs> Tag made out of that um, shorthand book. And here is a good old timey looking could be. It's really more the Nancy Drew girls though. So let's set that aside. Fun ways to encourage others. Not for this journal. See a lot of these um, journaling cards made out of the book pages. 
That's yeah, it's kind of bright with this. These are cut out of file folders. Oh boy, why do I even make more tags? I got plenty here. That is a Franken paper with some pink tissue over it. All right, this is made from an old timey ad that shows different movies that are being shown, so it could work. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. These are index cards. I've already used a couple of those in there. That's not a bad little thing. Well, it doesn't have much on the front, but anyway, I'll put there. That is just blank note cards. Oh boy, that's a cute. Oh yeah, it's cute. It's a little tag. You grow up the day you have your first real laugh at yourself. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Ah. Kind love, don't go through life, grow through life. Grow through life, wise words. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. Yep, we're making those. Oh boy, I definitely got to use some of this stuff. It's a cow. Okay. Something's rattling in my room. Choice family groceries, fruit, uh, maybe, possibly. There's an airplane. Maybe, because I kind of had the airmail things going on in this. Okay, what's this? An old letter looking postcard. I don't like the back. Okay. Blue. Does that work? mail type thing. Ah, oops. Okay, never mind. Let's back in with that. Some Franken tags. There's some skinny ones. They're not cut real straight. <laughs> that one is. Maybe I can work with those. There's a tall one. Oh, way taller than I need. So if I can use some of these things, then made progress, right? Oops, post. That one, that one's, this one might work. Ooh, that one might work too. Boy Scouts. I'm not sure if these. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's my. One of my. I love making folders out of book pages. We'll see. I don't know if I have a image big enough for that, though. Uh. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. A little bit of everything here. Blue. Okay, I want to stop. And that's an idea. I need to go in my idea folder. Because I may want those for a challenge. I just haven't got it filled up. I'm going to stop here. Right? Wait a minute. Yeah, this is one of those things. Way too big. I saw it because of the paper matches the paper in the journal. It's in the wrong thing. I want to stop. And see what I can do with the things I pulled out. Oh boy. And ugh, think about how I can use all this stuff up. Okay, moving this out. It's way out. Okay. Now, let's see. These things are here. Other stuff is here. I what was that? I think I was in the second signature before I ran out of things to put behind stuff. So a little one here. tablets too big. This would be fine. But it's more no no no. This is better. <laughs> okay. And I just need to ink that one up. 
not going to do anything to it other than that because it's got the pretty blue on the front. So, okay. Something big here. Now, one of these journaling cards would fit there. Yes. All right, so it's got lined paper on the back already. I need some inking. Am I anywhere near being on camera? I think so. And a little bit more gluing. here it might work it's of some boy scouts but if I tear it yeah because there's no way the hardy boys weren't boy scouts right I'm sure they were eagle scouts so this was an old old you know what it's two pages uh -huh. old old um, scout manual or something I got at yard sale this side. It needs to be stitched around though. The sewing machine's right here, but it's got stuff on it. <laughs> so I may not, yeah, I don't I want this video to get too long. It takes forever to upload it at my house. But I have decided if I put it in my bathroom window, it does much better. Take it off of Wi-Fi. Don't even try Wi-Fi. Mm -mm. That's why I can't use my computer. It just takes a day to upload one. But my phone does great. I just type out my phone. Okay, I'm gonna stitch around that with zigzag, so it's gonna go. Oops, don't tear my page up. It's gonna go there. I'm just gonna put it up there, so it'll remind me to work on it. And this one needs something too. It probably wouldn't hold a little folder, would it? No, oh, I don't think that's gonna work. Ooh, I remember him. Remember the Boy Scout? I might have Boy Scouts two things in a row, but that's okay. All right, that's great too, but he definitely needs to be stitched around. Looks like I put him on just like a, some, um, yeah, it was wrapping paper. So, I'll stitch around him too. All right, we're into the third signature. Another big one. Oh, there's this. Ooh, and it just might work. This is that one that was hard to get into. It definitely needs a tab on it, whatever I put. I want this to go in there, so I'm trimming it. Hold my place. Oops. Stay in place. Scissors, scissors, scissors. to the wild blue yonder. There's airplanes throughout um, this journal, airmail. So, yeah, this will work. Need a tab though. Okay, let's see. Side tab. Tab punch, tab punch. Where are you? Looking for an avalanche again. Okay, and this might work. The colors are kind of different. I would think it's going to be too small. Yep. Okay, reaching to my scraps. Okay, I have a blue one. That might work. I have to cut it pretty small. Still in frame. Fold it in half. I 
think it was Tracy Fox was doing this. This is when I saw her do it, and I thought, oh my gosh, I've been using my punch. I mean, it works both ways. You can do a single sheet of paper, but why not fold it in half and have the tab like that? So you just got to move that fold down past the cutting line. Glue on the whole thing. And we put the little tab on. Get him centered. He's cute. Okay. I think um, someone asked me to show how to put a post and hair tie closure, so I'm going to put one on here. This tab might interfere with it, but that's just the way life goes. So it might get a little banged up over the years, but no, it's not going to be too bad. It's going to go right across that, but it won't hurt it too much. Okay, let's see. We'll do one more, and then I'm going to uh, stop the video. It's going to be too long, especially if I splice it. Okay, I've got that one already. Well, there will be too many more to do. Huh, are we done? I don't think we're done. Okay, I'm going to go back through it and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I got all these things out. I must have started too far back in the book. But anyway, and I'm going to sew around those two. Next time you see this journal, it will be a flip. Th well, no, it would be making the post, putting the post in. And I got to put uh, Rick Rack and stuff on there. But it will be close to the flip through pretty quick. So anyway, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.